Alright, welcome back for uh, another episode of Kerbal Space Program with Garvin. So, uh, I just got over my epic defeat uh, last time where the rocket pretty much flipped and um, I'm ready to take on another challenge of building a rocket that actually can get somewhere. So here's the old Osmet Voyager Mark II. Screw you, extra rockets. That's what wasn't supposed to happen. Alright. So everything seems to be in working order. Mark III. So, uh... I'm going to try to spend less time building in this video and more time failing, as it were. Yeah. So, uh, please go away. Alright, so time to launch. Aw, oh, yeah. Apparently it's taking too long. I always does that. video right now. And I'll need to pause the video to check on that in a moment. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go without. See is a pretty big continent. Oh, I can't zoom in. Can't zoom in. Zoom in. Anymore. So there you can see the little base right there. Back down on Kerbin, which is the name of this planet. I'm gonna go into orbit view. It tells me where I would where it would orbit from. So this this is so this is the launch point. So this is where I would have launched from if I hadn't. Where it thinks that it w I would have launched from, or something. Or maybe it's just the orbit point, or something. I don't know. But right now, it says that if I stop, so at this point is if I stop right there. If I stop right now where I am, it, that's where I would land. 
and this is the Apple office or so whatever. is the highest point. And I'm gonna overshoot this desert. Shoot. Overshot it. Okay, the best I can do. that bring me? All the way in the middle there. So I've gained plenty of speed. Let's see how fast I am I'm going. Holy shit. Alright. There's not really much I can do this stuff. Wow, this is the fastest that I've ever gone well in the atmosphere, I think. Alright, let's look at the orbital again. Yeah, so I don't like landing in the ocean, but... I guess it is what it is. Oh, look it. Maybe the... Maybe the orbit of the planet beneath me will move the, this point over here to... on the land. I think it is. Is that or I don't know. Oh, that's the moon over there. Here's the Osbot Voyager Mark III. Currently going at over 1500 meters per second. Which probably isn't a good thing. Oh, crap. It's not going to be able to cross the entire ocean, is it? Spinning out of control. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, got it. Oh, card knuckles. Card knuckles. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna crash directly into the ocean. I'm gonna wait to turn on my parachute so it doesn't get yanked straight off at the top of it. It's going. No, oh, if I was actually going there, it should be. I'd be going straight down. Losing altitude, so to get to what? 2500 meters above sea level and uh, engage the parachute. And hopefully, fingers crossed, a safe landing in the water. I don't think that's gonna happen since the SAS module is completely still on right now. What's the RCS on? I've never been having any of those. Get pressure! Slow down. Yes. Here's a rifle. Wiggle around. Wiggle around. It lowers the speed. Oh, wah, oh, wah, oh, wah, oh, wah. There goes a rifle. Yes. No, no, don't increase the speed. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're gonna increase the speed. Yes, yes. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Right. Yes. The Kerbal survived the, the water landing, yes. So, yeah. 
Yeah, buddy. Hooray. All right. And flutter. So everything was destroyed except for the command module. Oh, yeah. All right. So back 